All right, so now we're continuing on. We've oriented the map to the north, and I've tried to get a little bit closer to the map. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is the area where we have a lot of strike and dip symbols. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure um, the compass orientation of the strike and dip symbols. So this is why you actually need to have the um, clear see-through compasses. Several of you asked if you could use your cell phones for that. Um, only if you can see through it that uh, you can actually see the other side. So what we're gonna do, we have this strike and dip symbol and I'll pick this one right here. You can see the long line is the strike. And then there's a little short line that comes off on this side of that long line. And that short line represents the dip. The number next to that short line is the number of degrees of the dip. So what that means is if you are on a flat horizontal surface, this particular one has 29. That means it is 29 degrees below horizontal. So it is at an angle and that angle is going in this direction. On that little short line, if you can just imagine a little arrow on it, that's the direction that it's dipping underneath the ground. So what we wanna find out though, is what is the compass direction? So what you wanna do, and it appears that I moved the map a little bit, but what you wanna do, you wanna put your compass, um, the center of the compass, whoops, sorry, center of the compass, should go right over where the intersection of the little short line is and the long line. Again, the map should be oriented to the north. Okay, so we position the compass right over that. Now, what you wanna do, and you have to be careful doing this, you do not wanna move the map. So in this case, this compass has a dial. And so I'm just gonna move that dial I'm going to move the base plate, I'm sorry, not the dial, I'm gonna move the base plate so that the base plate, is, the air on this base plate is going the same direction as that strike and dip. And you can see there's other strike and dips so you can kind of get an idea. And you can actually pull it off a little bit, you can see it's in the same direction. Okay, so I'm oriented, sorry again, move, move the base plate and the arrow is still pointing north now we can actually take the compass, pick it up, and you'll see this little white line that goes right between almost the 20 and 40. So it's exactly halfway. So what this is, that means it's 30 degrees to the northeast. So north is here, east is here, and this is 30 degrees to the northeast. And so that strike is 30 degrees to the northeast. Similarly, you can also do that with this other little compass. Now on this little compass, the dial does not turn. So you're gonna have a, a little bit different orientation. You're gonna have to leave the, the, the magnetic needle pointing north. And in this case, we will move the base plate again so it's kind of parallel to that north arrow. And in this case, we're kind of reading it backwards because um, just ha this one doesn't have a travel plate. This back plate on here is called the travel plate. So this one doesn't have a travel plate. So in this case, we're reading it. Again, you're reading it from the, the north and you're gonna read it the opposite direction. So in this case, it comes up right at 330. So from north, it's 30 degrees. So I'm looking for that 30 degrees. I've turned it towards this direction on the map, towards the eastern side, so that's 30 degrees to the east. So you may see there's a bunch of other strike and dips. This one is a completely different orientation. The strike is very different on this one than the one right next to it. That tells us that the rocks in that area folded very differently. You'll also see symbols on the map where you have a circle with an X in the middle of the circle. That represents horizontal rock layers. That means there's no dip at all in that area. So hopefully this will help you to use your compasses to determine the strike and dip 
of the symbols on the map and you'll be able to tell the direction, the compass direction of the strike and also of the dip. Now as a hint, the dip is always 90 degrees to the strike. So if the strike, like in this one, in this case, if it's 30 degrees to the east, all you have to do is add 90 degrees to the 30 and that will give you the dip orientation. So of course it won't be to the northeast anymore, it's going to be to the southeast. It's going to be 90 degrees different to the southeast. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, hopefully this will help you complete the lab. You will have similar exercises on your lab test, the final exam.